Hello everyone, my name is Michael and this is an unboxing of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. Okay, so I have my unboxing knife. So there it is, it's the Samsung Galaxy S4 and wow, it is uh, very light. It almost feels completely hollow. It is uh, amazingly light. It is also because there's no battery in it. So um, actually let's move this out of the way so we don't do anything crazy with it. Okay, so um, before we turn it on, we need to put the battery in it. So let's look inside the box. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, this is a Korean version, which is very much like the international version, except it has, a some, it has something extra, which is the external battery charger and a spare battery. So all Korean Galaxy um, all the Korean Galaxy phones come with two batteries and an external battery charger and you can get these probably um, in a month if not sooner at the Samsung website it definitely looks different than any of the uh, Galaxy battery chargers I've seen before but it is uh, yeah, it is much smaller than the Galaxy Note 2 charger box the ch charging case but that's where you insert the battery I guess if you want to see it put the battery inside here okay and you know makes a good carrying case here's a micro USB port and I'm guessing there is a LED light somewhere right oh yeah that's the LED light it is green when it's uh, done charging and it's almost orangish reddish when it's currently charging if uh, history uh, repeats itself it's gonna be about fifty dollars for this and you know it should come with like this and this and an adapter as well and it comes with a battery case for it as well okay so this is the battery for the Galaxy S4 it is a 2600 milliamp hour battery I believe uh, just numbers wise it is more capacity uh, than the Galaxy S3 but it should be more than that. This has a second set of CPUs. This is the octa-core version. So the uh, there are four separate CPUs that's supposed to run this thing more efficiently and use less battery. Okay, so let's see uh, what else is inside the box here. It is a USB cable, right? That is uh, identical to the one that uh, I got on my Galaxy Notes too. So uh, here are the inserts for your ear. Okay, and it's interesting, uh, if you remember the Galaxy Note 2, they had, uh, these are all translucent ones, they had opaque ones, opaque gray ones, they took those out, which is interesting, I guess they realized nobody was using it. Okay, and the rest of what's in this box, this is the exact same charger that I have on the Note 2, right, this is my uh, Note 2 charger, so it's identical, this is the US version which is just just a hint shorter okay and the earphones the earphones are actually different than the s3 and the uh, note 2 so let's open these up you can see that the cable right for the ear it is like uh, almost rectangular it is flat the shape wise this this part right this part is just a little bit longer Okay, and this uh, rubber part, there's a rubber portion here, right? it has become much smaller, maybe uh, half the length. Um, and this part has changed as well, this is uh, kind of like a oval in the bottom button as well, but I'm guessing the functionality is, is exactly the same. Okay, so anyway, without further ado, let's put the battery inside here and turn it on. I think uh, the sticker had something written about it, uh, about the oh, interesting. This thing had something written on it about what is that uh, NFC chip? Unfortunately, it's in Korean, and my Korean's not that great, but hmm. Is there NFC on this cover? It's like I can't see it on here. That's going to be interesting to look at. 
Okay, so yeah, compared to um, the Galaxy Note 2 that I have here, right, you can see that there's an NFC chip that's clearly visible. So let's turn it on. Actually, let's uh, do a little cleanup here. Okay, so here's the Galaxy S4 on the right and the Galaxy Note 2 on the left. And you could definitely notice that the bezel is a lot thinner. I never thought the Galaxy Note 2 had a thick bezel, but wow, I really like this thin bezel. So maybe, uh, or definitely the Galaxy Note 3 in the future, maybe in about six months or so, it will come with a thinner bezel just like this, right? It was one of the rumors on about the Galaxy S4 that the screen is not going to be as bright because they had to cram so many pixels on here. Well, let's see. So I've loaded up a white GIF image on both screens and you could definitely tell that the Galaxy S4 screen is brighter. And from my, what my eyes are telling me, the screen looks more pure white, whereas this has kind of like a yellowish tint to it. Okay, and um, you know, maybe this might not be your experience because all the Galaxy phones and the AMOLED screens are just a little different from each other, but from what I can tell, the brightness of the screen is uh, better. Here's one thing that I thought was interesting. You could see that on the Galaxy Note 2, um, you could see that the glass, maybe it's hard to see in this video, but the glass is actually above uh, this frame or the rim here. So you could see that um, this has gone um, has gone back to the Galaxy S design. If you remember the original Galaxy S and maybe even the S2, right? You could see that um, the rim actually came above the glass. Put my finger on here. I could see, uh, I could just feel the rim just being a little bit higher than the uh, glass itself. So that's it for the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S4, but stay tuned for more videos on this device. I'm planning on giving it the same treatment that I gave the Galaxy Note 2, and I'm continuing to do on that device on my channel, the Daily Note 2. And I really want to put the hardware and the software under the microscope so that we can all get the most out of this device. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notified when I upload these videos. Once again, thank you for watching.